What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Cornelia, back for another episode of Black News, a podcast where we break down current events, hot topics, and local stories involving Black people. Now let's get into it. First things first, I need to remind y'all because I think I forgot your girl birthday coming up. Ooh, happy birthday. Put the Stevie Wonder on the black version and the white version because I want to hear them both. It is a milestone birthday for me. So this is a big deal. Y'all buy me some gifts. I don't, I just need the gifts and the money. Matter of fact, don't even buy me the gifts. Just pay my rent. How about that? Give me, pay my rent. Okay, I am receiving rent money. No, but in all seriousness, you guys don't have to buy me anything. I'm not even a gift. Ain't even my, gifts ain't even my love language. I don't know how to receive gifts. I'm one of those people who get the gift and be hella awkward because I don't know what to do. I'm, I will take it. I, I will receive it, but it's going to be weird. Um, But yes, it is my birthday. So we going to be uh, turning up for Sagittarius season. Stay tuned for um, any info around that, whether I have celebrations or just, you know, just anything going on. Outside of that, thank y'all for supporting. And that's what y'all can continue to do for my birthday. Listen, subscribe, rate five stars, leave a comment on iTunes, share, tell a friend, like it, and just pass the 10 about Black News Podcast. Check my website for updates and any happenings and also my social media because that's mainly where I post things. That is it for first things first. And with that said, y'all, let's get into it. Mm-mm-mm. Kyrie, 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 y'all. Ooh. This Kyrie Irving situation has gotten a lot worse. I briefly mentioned it last week. Just gave some high level points. Right after that, shit hit the fan again. And by hit the fan, I mean that brother is not playing. So many things have have happened between then and now. So I'm going to give a quick overview and add some, some, some thoughts. And granted, I don't know everything. Okay, it's a lot to put together, so I'm going to do my best. First, I mentioned how Kyrie Irving posted on social media a movie that is currently on Amazon. The movie is titled Hebrews to Negroes, Wake Up Black America. Apparently, I have now, I haven't seen apparently because I have not watched the video. The movie talks about black uh, Israelites or, or black Jewish people and in black America and, 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 and what, what we are historically, uh, how we are historically a part of that narrative and a part of that culture. Now, before I continue on, let me say this. I don't know if the contents of the movie is real or fake, if it's truth or lies, but I do know we are in a time and era where people will watch something and automatically believe it just because somebody made it. I have literally seen two different sides of the argument about this movie in particular, where some people are saying it is completely inaccurate. And then some people saying, yes, it is true. We don't know. We it's true. Black people just don't know our true history. Both things can be, can be true at the same time as we know, but the way people are latching on into this information without doing any research is alarming. Now it could, some of the, maybe some of the stuff is factual. I'm not saying that it is because again, I did not watch the movie, but it seems to be very easy for people to just believe something because they saw it or read it, which says to me, somebody could literally be at home, be like, you know what? Shrimp can sing. Did you know that shrimp have the same exact singing voice as Whitney Houston? They could make a full on YouTube video on it, make a movie, post it, and somebody will watch and be like, yeah, that's true. And we'll go out into the world and claim that shrimp have the same singing voice as Whitney Houston. And it has to be true because I watched a movie on it. And if it wasn't, they wouldn't have said it and made it. 
That is how information is spread now a days. Okay. I said it to say again, I don't know if this movie is true or false. I don't know, but he got in trouble because of this, because apparently uh, people within the Jewish community felt like that movie was anti-Semitic. Simultaneously, when Kyrie got suspended, that's opened up the door for the conversation to hold Jeff Bezos to the fire. Because if this movie is in fact that bad or anti-Semitic, how is it on Amazon? And how is it on that platform without any disclaimer or anything? But then again, adding one more level to this. What if the movie is not anti-Semitic? And again, if it is, it, it is. I'm not, I'm not arguing that. I'm make, trying to make the point of once we open up the door for people being able to categorize information, does because you know what happens when they do that then they start to categorize black people's content as something that it is not in an in, in a negative light so with all of this we need to watch it carefully because anything could happen it can come about of this situation now back to Kyrie Irving he has been suspended by the Brooklyn Nets not the NBA the Brooklyn Nets have suspended Kyrie Irving what they are requiring of him is the following he must apologize and condemn the film he promoted make a five hundred thousand dollar donation to anti-hate causes complete sensitivity training complete anti-semitic anti-semitism training meet with the adl and jewish leaders meet with team owner joe side to demonstrate an understanding of the situation he was suspended um he served i think for five games he already served two and the earliest he could possibly return is on November 13th against the Lakers. It is unclear where he stands in regards to the checklist and the demands. We have not heard from Kyrie. But in regards to the other people within the NBA, Jalen Brown, who is uh, heads up the Players Association, he said they have a problem with the suspension and they are appealing it. And maybe it's for many reasons. Uh, according to Jalen, he says, I don't believe Kyrie Irving is anti-Semitic. I don't think people in our governing bodies think he thinks he's anti-Semitic. He made a mistake. We understand from an outside perspective how important sensitivity is to not condone hate speech and not condone anything of that nature. It's sensitivity to the dialect around that. We don't want to stand up for somebody in order to not condemn hate speech, but I don't believe Kyrie Irving is anti-Semitic and hopefully the NBA feels the same way. He goes on to say, there's an interesting distinction between what somebody says verbally and what somebody posts as a link on a platform with no description behind it. Some people will argue there's no difference and some people will argue that there is a difference. There's no language in our CBA. There's no rules against it. This is uncharted territory for everybody. And everybody is trying to figure out the difference between the two. He put a, brought up a very good point. Because whether you think the, the, the movie was anti-Semitic or not, whether it actually was or was not, whether it was hate speech or not, whether one crowd deems it that way and the other one didn't, Kyrie Irving is a part of the National Basketball Association. And the National Basketball Association, the Players Association, have a contract, the CBA, the Collective Bargaining Agreement, and that protects the players in certain situations. So when J- when Jalen brought up, there's no language in our CBA, in our collective bargaining agreement. He, that is a very valid point. Because what it sounds like, the Brooklyn Nets decided that they were going to do all of these things to Kyrie Irving. They, ain't, nothing, ain't nothing in the paperwork to say we can do this. Y'all, didn't, This ain't in the paperwork, okay? Even though it's new charter territory, we still got signed an agreement and this ain't on, this ain't on the papers. So, they're going back to, back to the drawing board. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Now, people are, and by people, I mean other people outside of the situation have been upset with other NBA players' response to this. Some people are saying um, LeBron and them should stand up and should speak out on behalf of Kyrie Irving and all of these things. But let me mention this, and I'm just speaking for myself. 
don't know nobody who probably ain't versed in this type of situation or, or these types of, of instances to be speaking on my behalf. If I'm in the NBA, I don't want LeBron speaking on my head. LeBron speak for LeBron. And what he stand for, that's what he stand for. Why? We got to stop thinking that people who don't know what the F is going on, don't have no degree in black American studies, world history, probably don't be reading no books themselves. We got to stop expecting them to stand up behind the podium and be like, we, we got to stick because the black is real. Like he don't know. He don't know none of that. Maybe he do, but from, I'm let, being led to believe that him or nobody else does in, 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 in that group that people are demanding speak up. So let's stop calling on people to, to take a stand and, and, and deal with this as, um, as a, a problem specifically relating to Kyrie Irving. Now, does this have the potential to blow back on everybody else in different situations? Absolutely. Do I think? This is happening to him in particular because Kyrie has been digging his heels in for the last almost three years for other things. Absolutely. Didn't this start when he didn't want to get the vaccine and sat out and they couldn't do nothing about it? Absolutely. Could this have been avoided? Absolutely. Do Kyrie Irving, do I think Kyrie Irving uh, feels bad about it? Mm, I don't necessarily think so. You got to remember Kyrie Irving is also a flat earther. He think the earth is flat. So while I sympathize that stuff like this is going to happen, dominoes going domino and one, one fall, the rest of them going to fall. But I do want some type of resolution to be outlawed, um, outlined. Excuse me. I do want some type of resolution to be outlined when it comes to the National Basketball Association, because going back one more time, Jalen is right. Whatever y'all try to do and pull with the players, it got to be in that contract we signed. If it's not, don't come over here with that shit. We're going to abide by what the paperwork. And if the paperwork ain't paperworking, then they're going to have to probably pull Kyrie up off that suspension. Now, I know I missed a lot of stuff. I know I'm talking all over the place, um, but let me know y'all thoughts about this. Do I also think that Kyrie Irving is anti-Semitic? I don't think he is. Do I think the video or the movie he posted is anti-Semitic? I don't know. I did not watch and I'm not going to watch it. But do I also think... um, that Jeff Bezos and Amazon, do I think that they need to be feeling the fire? I kind of do because they, Jeff be thinking he, he's just going to be out here doing whatever he, he wants to. And you know, he, he need to feel a little heat as well. So let me know y'all thoughts. Hit me up on social media at Cornelia and we'll discuss. Speaking of LeBron, who I briefly mentioned, apparently people say he be lying. <laughs> y'all apparently People say LeBron be lying about simple stuff. Now, I'm not going to say he be lying about stuff in general, but he recently been getting called out on social media because he told a little fib about how he knew about the Migos and the Migos wasn't even the Migos at the time. Okay, so backing up, we all know that Takeoff, who is a member of the Migos, was shot last week or maybe even two weeks at this point in Houston. Rest in peace to take off. Very tragic. Talked about it on last week's episode. But in all of the aftermath on social media with people and celebrities talking about their love for take off and his music, LeBron said during post game press conference, I quote, I was listening to those guys my first year with the heat in 2010. You can ask any one of my teammates back then. They had no idea who the Migos was. I was like, I'm telling you, these guys are next. He also dressed up as takeoff and that was his way of paying homage. Uh, Black suit, black tie, white shirt, Jesus peace. After that, people on Twitter and social media started to be like, hold on now, that, that ain't really true, LeBron. That's not true. Because it appears. The Migos first mixtape wasn't released until August of 2020, uh, of August of 2011. 
And after that, people started coming for him. According to certain tweets, people saying Migos first tape was in uh, 2011. Braun is incredibly hilarious. Another post. He really is the greatest liar of all time. Another post. Migos wasn't even okay. Then somebody else said generational liar. Now, one thing I don't do, I don't slander no LeBron James. I love me some LeBron James. Whatever y'all got to say, y'all going to have to say it behind me back. Because one thing you ain't going to do is slander LeBron Cleophis James. I don't even know if that's his middle name. I respect LeBron's work ethic, his athleticism. I follow him. He is my favorite basketball player behind Dwayne Wade. D Wade retired, so he can't, you know, I can't really root for him. When they teamed up together in Miami, it was the perfect situation for me because both of them was my dogs. He is now a billionaire. He is out here getting money, beautiful family, great kids, funny commercials. I didn't watch Space Jam, so I can't comment on the acting. I, you know, what, what do we? What more do we expect? But we're not gonna be calling this brother bad names. We're not gonna be doing that. We're not gonna be disrespecting LeBron. And y'all know it's certain. I got a list of people you ain't gonna be disrespecting. Beyonce. No black actress that originated from the 1990s. Jay Z. Okay, you because you ain't gonna be di- y'all. Hey, you ain't gonna be. I ain't gonna be talking shit about Jay Z. Any of my homegirls, keep your name or my close homeboys, and anybody that I add to list at a later date and time. You're not gonna be disrespecting my folks. So, LeBron, one of them. But it's hilarious. It is hilarious because. He probably, you know, was literally feeling that comment like, yeah, you know, I was feeling, I, was, I tried to put them on and he actually did not put them on. So LeBron getting a little fun heat. It is what it is. Did y'all see that on Twitter? And if y'all even still on Twitter, because like we talked about last week, people getting up off of there because your boy, oh, funny face Elon uh, is running it into the ground. Let me know your thoughts about this topic, though, in particular. Hit me up and let me know. In other rap beef, because it seems like over the past however many months, it's been a lot going on in the hip hop community. In this case, Champagne Poppy got done made enemies. And by enemies, I mean Megan Thee Stallion. I love both artists, but this situation, you know, it, it, it do got me doing the side eye. So Drake and 21 Savage dropped an album this past week titled Her Loss. I know Drake is known for partnering up and teaming up with people to do collaborations. This is maybe his second or third project. I know he had one with Future. There may have been one with another person. Not sure, but. He, on the album, there's a song called Circle Loco, I believe. And on it, one of the lyrics that he raps says, this bitch lie about getting shots, but she's still a stallion. Apparently and allegedly referencing Megan the Stallion being shot by Tory Lanez a couple of years ago. Megan ain't talk, been doing nothing to nobody. She ain't, she been staying out the way. She getting money, making TV appearances, twerking all out here with great knees, dealing with her boyfriend and they having good relationships and, and, and the good times on and off social media. And here come people constantly bringing up or insinuating that she was not shot by Tory Lanez or making it a punchline and a joke which also sparks the conversation around protecting black women. And if this were another artist of another color, would we still be having this conversation? Because somebody brought up a good point. If Taylor Swift, Billie Eilish, any of them, um, Olivia Rodrigo, Selena Gomez, if any of them would have gotten shot by a rapper, would we be saying the same things. Do I think some rappers will still make that a punchline? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do, would it still be a punchline? Yes. Would it have been taken more seriously? Yep. 
would people be in jail? Yep. Would people be treading a little light, a little lighter? Mm-hmm. Sure would. But I'm get, I'm just uh, this is allegedly. Megan tweeted in response because she heard it. I'm sure her fans were like, "Girl, isn't it is? Girl, isn't it is?" She said, and this is one of many tweets. I'm only gonna read one. Okay, I'm only gonna read one. She said, "Stop using my shooting for clout, bitch ass niggas." Since when the F is it cool to joke about women getting shot? You N-words, especially rap N-words, are lame. Let's see, because I'm only going to give y'all the N-word one more time, one time, okay? She goes on to continue. Ready to boycott about shoes and clothes, but dog pile on a black woman when she say one of y'all homeboys abused her. Hey, she very, valid points were made. Valid points were made. In response... Cause the internet was blown up. I think somebody like Kodak Black was saying, no, that line didn't mean anything. It was referring to ass shots. Like this bitch lied about getting shots, ass shots, but she's still a stallion. She's still like Megan the stallion, whether it's a double entendre, things can have multiple meetings. Okay. So we have yet to hear from 21 or Drake about the situation. And again, I'm just reporting the news. Okay. I'm just reporting the black news. Um, but we, we put a pin in that in regards to the actual case, Megan and Tory Lanez's trial is set to begin on November 28th. Tory Lanez is under house arrest until then due to him allegedly assaulting August Alsina back in October because they were at a concert together. Something happened. August heard that he was uh, talking, talking SHIT about him. I guess didn't want to shake his hand. Tory Lanez hit him. And now Tory Lanez is on house arrest. And we'll see what happens with that. Overall, more drama, more mess. <sighs> what y'all think about it? Hit me up on social media with your thoughts. Or if you have any other additional information that we can add to this particular story. I'm at Canelia. Let's get into honorable mention. Wakanda Forever is finally coming out. It is almost November 11th. 2022 i feel like this movie been in in process in post and pre post production for three thousand years so much has happened while we waited for this dang movie oh my god so much has happened it is finally here what has happened? This movie, first Black Panther, I believe, came out in 2018. We were so hyped. Then we finally also had to wait for Endgame because Endgame had the last uh, snippets or clips or scenes of uh, Chadwick Boseman playing T'Challa, a.k.a. Black Panther. So we waited on Endgame. Kind of finally came out. Then we got our butts put in the house. Then out of nowhere, we at home on Zoom doing what we doing uh, 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 safely uh, what we, what do we call it uh, quarantining safely whatever the model was we get the instagram we saw chadwick boseman died lord help us we then heard that the script was already done ryan coogler had to go back to the drawing board oh bless him he was struggling because they were already getting you know getting ready the production got delayed because of that then we were actively in COVID. Then they started shooting. Not going to name no names, but some actors didn't want to get the vaccine. That delayed it. Then they didn't want to get the vaccine, but got hurt. They had to go home to heal. And when they went home to heal, couldn't get, get back in the States because they didn't want to get the vaccine. So finally got done with it. And now it's 2022. Lord help us. And all of those points were allegedly, those were alleged about the delays, whether they true or not. It is finally here. Lord, we will be going to the theaters. Y'all know the movie theater struggling. <laughs> not this weekend, not next weekend. And not the week after that, you heard we going to be up in that. The question is though, 
And before I get into the question, Disney, Marvel, and the Black Panther team have been doing a fantastic job of promoting this movie. Promotions been A1. They have had premieres in multiple cities. They have had interviews, screenings, specials. There was a great one on ABC hosted by Robin Roberts where Whoopi Goldberg actually interviewed Chadwick's late, um, his late Chadwick interviewed his widow, Simone, and she talked about what it was like being with him and his legacy and his his things that he wanted before he passed. Ryan Coogler did a did, Coogler did a fantastic interview with Tyanese Coates. It is a, a podcast called Wanda, Wakanda Forever. It is the official Wakanda Forever podcast. Ryan Coogler really talked about his last some of his last interactions with Chadwick, his thought process around having to rewrite the script. If you really Listen to that podcast. It was really good. Cool. And shout out to Ryan because he'd been telling these stories and talking about this, breaking down, getting emotional for the past few months. So prayer, prayers to that brother. Y'all know I love me some Ryan Coogler. Okay. Anyway, hope to work with you soon, my brother. Okay. The question is, are we wearing all white to the theaters? Now, by the time this podcast comes out, Black Panther will be in theaters the, that day. Okay. It say November 11th, but you can get tickets for the 10th. Okay. You can get tickets for the 10th. I think I might be going on the 10th. So for y'all listening late, listening on time, whatever the case, are we going to wear all white? Y'all remember there was a post that's a fan made many, many months ago that said, in reference to the scene in the movie where Chadwick Boseman will be basically laid to rest, they had on all white. White is a symbol or is a color that is often worn in a lot of African uh, tribes and cultures. That is the, the celebration of life color. You wear white. I even read something, I don't even know if it's true or not, where Ruth Carter, who is the wardrobe stylist for the first Black Panther in this one, shout out to Ruth, Hampton University alum, Oscar winner. I read something where it said that she was hoping that people will show up wearing all white as well and the remembrance of Chadwick and in celebration of his life and legacy. I posted it on Facebook today asking people, hey, we wearing all white? And the majority said, yeah. So it looked like we going to be wearing all white. I had to hurry up and order me some off of Amazon. Because one thing I don't be doing, y'all, I can't stand to be an all white party. Woo you want to get me to not show up somewhere? You want to get me to not attend your party? Make it a thing. And if you want to guarantee tea that I'm not coming make it all white because I ain't showing up I can't stand me an all white party I don't know what it is I never liked it I don't want to wear no white jeans I I the quickest way to get me to decline an invitation put a dress code that is themed and definitely you make it white or costume yeah mm -mm, nope I'll see you I'll see you later I, I see, I see you around, but I'm willing to do it for Chadwick. I ordered me something off Amazon, just some little quick to thong, you know, little sunshine, nothing too fancy, crazy. It's just white in case that is what we actually wearing and pulling up in. What y'all going to do though? Are y'all wearing all white? Are you going to wear all white? Let me know. Hit me up. Hit me up and let me know. People going to be posting their outfits. I'm going to be keeping my eyes glued to social media to see. Um, because if that's the thing, we need to pull up and celebrate our boy, the late, great Chadwick Boseman and this wonderful movie, Wakanda Forever. Hit me up at Cornelia on social media with your thoughts. All right, to recap this week, we talked about Kyrie Irving and the suspension. There is a lot surrounding that situation. I gave a quick recap, but I'm sure more and more things are going to keep happening over time. So we'll stay tuned with that. Also, LeBron be lying. Apparently he be lying about knowing stuff and, 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 and listening to mixtapes. Um, went viral on social media and that's what we were laughing and chuckling about today. Also, there's some 
hip hop beef, Drake and Megan Thee Stallion in regards to Drake and 21 Savage's recent album that came out, her loss and some lyrics directed towards Megan. And lastly, Wakanda Forever. Are we wearing all white? Will you be at the theaters opening weekend with your white outfits on in celebration and remembrance of Chadwick Boseman and the overall movie? Hit me up and let me know your thoughts about all or none. And I'll see you guys back here next week. That's it for this week's episode of Black News, y'all. Thanks again. Thank you. And thank you again so much for sticking with us, supporting the podcast, liking and subscribing on all apps where podcasts can be heard, rating five stars and leaving a comment. It helps more than you know. So I really, really appreciate it. And keep sharing Black News with all of your friends and family. Be sure to hit me up on social media if you got ideas for topics. Or just hit me up in general to let me know you've been listening. Let me know your thoughts. I'm at Canelia on all platforms across the board. That's at Canelia like Kenny and Ophelia. Also check my website. I got some shows coming up in Los Angeles County. Hopefully get on the road soon. But for now, if you're in the LA area, hit me up. Check Canelia.com for show dates and details. And as always, thanks again so much guys i hope you have a fantastic week keep supporting keep growing keep building keep staying safe and keep staying healthy as always again i'll see you back here next time same time same place bye